when I was seven, my family bought a house down on the Jersey Shore, and we had next door neighbors who had three kids, and their oldest daughter had just come home from Stage Door, which is like a big theater camp in the Berkshires, and she came home and she was like, I am going to direct a production of Annie. She was 12. <laughs> and it was going to go up in our backyard at the end of the summer, and she cast me as Annie. She cast our golden retriever as Sandy. <laughs> she cast her little sister as Molly, and she cast my dad as Miss Hannigan, <laughs> and he did the role in full drag at the end of the summer. And it was, I always say, it was when I remember my life beginning. Because before Annie, um, the identity of just being a little girl in a wheelchair didn't feel good. And I felt like the world looked at me and felt badly for me. And then I had this experience of being on stage, and people were looking at me, and they didn't feel bad for me. They were listening to the story I was telling, and they admired my ability to sing and act and dance. And that was the kind of attention I wanted. Mm -hmm. And so that was like, oh my god, I found my purpose. This feels so empowering. and. Um, and I also talk about how it was really exciting to feel like I knew how to play any character because there were days that playing Allie was just too much and it was like too intimidating or I felt shy or I felt like I couldn't move forward, forward at school. And so to put on cowboy boots one day and, and feel like Annie Oakley was giving me some power felt amazing. I just turned into such a theater buff and, and, um, and it really changed my life.